It is common clinical knowledge that obesity and being overweight are predispositions for developing type 2 diabetes. With obesity on the rise, it is projected that by the year 2050, one in three adults will have type 2 diabetes. One thing we know for sure is that weight loss can help curb the effects of diabetes and obesity. But could we improve weight loss beyond diet and exercise? New research from the Diabetes and Obesity Research Center at Sanford Burnham Prebis Medical Discovery Institute in Orlando, Florida has revealed a correlation between heart hormones, obesity, and diabetes. This discovery could prove to be a game changer by creating new treatments to fight the epidemic of obesity and diabetes. We'll take a closer look at this progress on this edition of Lab TV News Diabetes. Today, we are in the lab of Dr. Sheila Collins at Sanford Burnham, where she and her team are investigating the interaction between heart hormones and the regulation of body fat. So how does its interaction work? We've made the observation that there are hormones that are made in your heart called atrial natriuretic peptide, or ANP, and is a related hormone called BNP. And these hormones are released from the heart in response to blood pressure elevation, and they were originally discovered to be important in lowering blood pressure. But in addition, these same hormones regulate fat metabolism, fat cell metabolism, by also increasing the release of stored fats from the cell and also by increasing the amount and the activity of brown fat to burn energy. When we think of fat, we often think of the excess pounds we would like to shed. But did you know that there are two different types of fat cells? Energy-storing fat cells are referred to as white adipose tissue, and energy-burning fat cells are called brown adipose tissue. Dr. Collins and her team have made the breakthrough discovery that these heart hormones play a key role in white fat cells behaving like brown fat cells, thus dramatically increasing the burning of excess fat. But how could this help patients struggling with diabetes? When we look at patients that are obese versus lean, they have higher levels of a certain receptor for these heart hormones. And it's a receptor that is involved in clearing the peptides, in other words, removing them from circulation. And the higher this uh, clearance receptor, the less able these hormones are to be able to activate the fat cells. And when we look at patients that have normal glucose tolerance versus uh, symptoms of type 2 diabetes, such as insulin resistance, we also see that these clearance receptor level in their fat tissue is higher. Did you try making a brown fat culture like that? Yeah, yeah. And did you get the same thing, pretty much? Yeah, I think uh, for the brown, brown fat, it's, it's similar. Okay, good, yeah. good. Recently, Dr. Collins has been running clinical trials with obese and lean patients. Oh, yeah. So what has she learned thus far? What was important that we found was that when we gave patients a drug that is known to Im help improve insulin sensitivity, we saw that the level of this clearance receptor was significantly reduced in their fat tissue. And along with that, we also saw indicators of brown fat activity were elevated. So this tells us that by being able to manipulate and regulate the level of this clearance receptor, it will allow the heart hormones to be able to activate fat for the benefit of uh, helping to treat type 2 diabetes, as well as perhaps promote some weight loss. So far, Dr. Collins' study seems like a positive step forward in diabetes research. So what do they hope to accomplish with their ongoing clinical trials? These studies give us a great hope that we, we can utilize even some drugs that are already in the clinic to be able to moderate the level of this clearance receptor and to be able to promote uh, a more healthy type of fat. Dr. Kahn's research is championing new ways to treat diabetes, and we can anticipate more incredible discoveries to come. We think it's very important to try to target uh, the adipose tissue or the skeletal muscle, which are the major organs involved in, you know, the energy, energy storage and expenditure, and to try to tackle, tackle obesity 
uh, and diabetes uh, from, from that perspective. Lab TV News Diabetes, going behind the scenes in labs across America to report on the latest peer-reviewed stories. To see more stories, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.